Welcome back peeps, this is the next instalment of the build series. It's the floor and insulation. It's in two videos because they were getting a bit lengthy so stay tuned for the one after this. And here we go. Okay, we're gonna start with the bulkhead removal. As you can see, uh, you'll need well, ideally, you can need a socket set. Worst case, you'll need a shifting spanner. And these are the star heads. I think these are going to come out with a drill, but we'll see. Uh, socket set can come in handy here as well. Before you start taking the bulkhead out, there's a little plastic bit down here next to the step. Little star head there. Star head there. This is a tune, by the way. Keep them in a safe place. Right, the main bit of the bulkhead is out. Just a note. When you take all the bolts out the front and pull the bulkhead forward, there's actually another sequence of star head bits along the back here. So you just fold the bulkhead forward, sneak in behind and obviously take them out. Two people would be handy, but you can, you can get it done with one. As you can see, I've cut these battens for the floor. These are 25mm, 350mm, um, just at equal intervals down the van. Going to stick some no nails on the high spots for um, drilling them down with these self tapping screws, which are 4.8 by 50mm. I drill through the high spots here, obviously, countersink them so they're flush. And then we're going to be putting some Kingspan or Celotex in between for the insulation. Just uh, before I screw these down, put the no nails on. I've actually got a countersink. But if you don't have a countersink, the little trick is just with the usual posy bit, is give it some pressure. Just rotate the drill like that. That'll count the sink. Count the sink your screw there, nice and flush. As you can see, that's the first two done. That we did. Just a little thing. Obviously, when you're lining these back up, I've got underneath where I've marked them at intervals so get the centre near enough that's that's not it there that's it there you can see it but get your batten right in the right place then what you want to do is measure here and make sure it's also equal at the other side once it once you've got it where you want it to be Put some pressure on it, mark either side so you know it's in the right place. This will just be easier for when you come and put the insulation in between so it's nice and square so you're not cutting the insulation on an angle. That's the button finished. As you can see, put these these ones here all in a straight line. Obviously, where the floor's 
smaller up there, then we're in a straight line as well. This will just make it easy to cut the insulation so you're not going loads of little off cuts. Let's get the insulation in. Just on cutting the insulation for the floor, the king span, and utility knife, standing knife's not getting in. It's getting an angled cut, so I found it's better to use a sharp, thin knife to get close, to get a, a straighter cut on the king span. Once you've cut a line across it, and you snap it. Snap the board like that. Then you can use a standing knife to slit it along. Just finished the floor insulation. As you can see, the wheel arches are insulated and came around the side with the foil tape just to connect with the wall. So it's all one sealed, one sealed floor now. Next job is to get the floor back in. So that was the battens and the insulation put down. Next video will be putting the old flooring back down and topping that with some six mil ply. So have a look at that one and I'll see you next time. Cheers.